So I'm Matt Weisenberger. I'm the Associate Director for Materials Technology Research here at the University of Kentucky Center for Applied Energy Research. Uh, a lot of the work we're doing here uh, involves the development of fiber and fiber processing technologies, including carbon fiber. And uh, I guess that's what we're going to talk about today. In this particular lab, we, we call the spin line, uh, or the fiber development facility. Um, we are de developing the process by which carbon fibers are generally produced, and we are studying aspects of that process. And this is a, a, a solution or a wet spinning process to uh, create fibers uh, from polymers and uh, experimental polymers at, at that, uh, that can then be thermally treated in, or thermally carbonized to form carbon fibers. There's a lot of, uh, of processing science, a whole lot of processing science that goes in making fibers, and particularly these precursor fibers that are going to be converted into carbon fibers. We have the really unique equipment here to do that uh, and are in pursuit of understanding more and more about that process. I think what's really unique about this facility um, is the not only the, the equipment that we've developed over the last decade um, in our research in fiber development, but also just the expertise that we've gained um, and knowledge of, of how to process um, different polymers. One of the reasons that we're, we're often visited is because we're able to work with experimental polymers. So we're able to work with, with small amounts of polymer relative to, say, an industrial spinning line. The biggest limiting factors right now for carbon fiber is the cost to manufacture. Uh, we are currently working on projects to decrease the cost and also to increase the strength of the fiber, which would then expand its applications to uh, more commercial use for everyday products that you and I would see. I think this is one of the most important parts of what we have to offer, and it is that uniqueness. This uh, capability not only the kit itself, but the actual know-how to utilize it and to manu manufacture on a small scale, but a meaningful scale, uh, an experimental uh, polymer, experimental precursor fiber in a solution spinning line of this, this magnitude. You won't find that. In North America, this is gonna be uh, one of, if not the only, unique uh, capability at this scale.